There are a lot of acronyms in film and television. Fans like to use shortcuts to make discussion about what they like easier. In Star Trek, we have TOS, TNG, and DS9. In Star Wars, maybe some people say TESB, ROTJ, or ROTS. We have a great acronym in the Bond franchise with SPECTRE. Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, and Extortion. When discussing the Bond films, however, I rarely hear people using acronyms, but I see them in writing often. It is easier to type FRWL than to type out the whole title from Russia with love. Some acronyms lend themselves to being read aloud as new words like NASA and UNICEF. If we look at the various Bond actors and their respective eras, can we find any acronyms that sound cool? Let's have a listen. In the Connery era, we have seven films, if you include the non-canon Never Say Never Again. Here we go. Doctor No. Dun. Dun. Hmm. From Russia with love. Frwul. Frwul. Hmm. Goldfinger. G. G. Mm. Thunderball. T. T. Mm. Not much there. You only live twice. Yolt. That one actually sounds okay, like YOLO or FOMO. Yolt. It's like a rebuttal. Do it, YOLO. No, wait, Yolt. You have to think about it. Weigh the consequences. Diamonds are forever. Daff. Daff? Hmm, when you say it like a word, it is too much like daft. Maybe that is appropriate, though, considering the film. Hmm. Never say never again. Nsna. Ah. <sighs> I think, looking at the Connery films, we have a contender for a cool acronym with YOLT. Lazenby had only one outing, and yes, I have been corrected. I know it is Lazenby now, not Lazenby or Lazenby. Oops. On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Ohms. Ohms. Hmm, it sounds a little cool, relaxing, like meditation. Ohms. Ohms. After Connery and Lazenby came more. Live and let die. Lulled. Lulled. Hmm. The man with the golden gun. Tim with the goo. Tim with the goo. Tim with the Gigi. Gigi Nori. Nope. The spy who loved me. Tiswilm. Tiswilm. Hmm. Moonraker. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. For your eyes only. Fieo, fieo. Uh, not feeling it. Octopusy. O, O, A. Hmm. A view to a kill. Avtak. Avtac. Sounds like insurance. Avtac. 
Aftak. Hmm, nothing stands out in the Moore era. Moving on to Dalton. The Living Daylights. Tuld. Tuld. Hmm. License to kill. Lutuk. Lutuk. Nothing there, really. Maybe Brosnan's era has more potential. Golden Eye. It is all one word, so g. That is like Goldfinger. G. Mm, too confusing. Tomorrow never dies. Tund. Tund. Oh, the world is not enough. Whoa, twine. Twine. That is actually a word. Oh, die another day. Dad. That is a word, too. Oh, Brosnan has two contenders with twine and dad. Finally, the Daniel Craig reboot series. Casino Royale. Krr. Krr. Hmm. It can be soothing. Krr. Or it can be aggressive. Krr. But maybe no. Quantum of Solace. Quos. Hmm. Quos. Does that sound cool? It sounds thoughtful. And most people need to think a lot to understand that film. Hmm. Quos. Skyfall. S. S. Like a snake. Menacing. Uh oh. Spectre. S. S. <sighs> we already had that, so it would be confusing. No time to die. N to the de. N to the de. Well, I think it's between Connery's Yolt and Brosnan's Twine and Dad. I lean towards Brosnan since those are actual words. What do you think? Feel like using any of those acronyms aloud in the future? <sighs> I have too much free time. Better go touch some grass, if I can find any in Yokohama. Thanks for indulging me? See you next time.